years ago, the National Economic and Social Council produced a report where they described Ireland's housing sector as completely dysfunctional. Uh, and they said that that could be addressed by policy intervention by the government and by structuring in permanent affordability uh, into the housing sector. Since then, the situation has got worse, not better. Uh, and by the way, our housing costs are uh, so far ahead of the rest of Europe on average that for you to suggest that it's got to do with the Ukrainian war or anything like it is just ridiculous. That's part of the cost of living crisis, one of the biggest parts, right? And that's down to your policy failure identified as recently as two years ago by the National Economic Social Council. And one aspect of this is that because of your refusal to raise the income thresholds on eligibility for social housing and social housing support, Thank you, Deputy. in those two years, thousands of people Thank have lost Deputy. their entitlement to social housing and social housing support, Thank uh, Thank and Gino some of those people are homeless. Deputy. When are you going to raise Thank those we're, we're income threshold Deputy limits uh, and restore the time that people have lost on the list? Um, in terms of Deputy Boyd Barrett, um, again, there's no doubt that the cost of the war is feeding into the shortage in terms of materials and so on, as did the imbalance between supply and demand occasioned by the bounce back of economies after COVID. But the war has exacerbated that, particularly the fuel costs and commodity costs, beyond anything we've experienced before. So that is a big factor in terms of um, housing um, in, in, in inflation. 